Hi again, it's Jason from Fraser Valley Rose Farm. And to get right to the topic of this video, what does a poinsettia taste like? Well, let's see. Not so good, actually. Um, I haven't changed my opinion. Tried this yesterday, and um, it's very bitter. Um, I don't know if acrid is the right word. Uh, kind of acidic tasting. Not sweet or good texture, so I, I guess what I'd say is it's almost like a, a very bad kale or not a very good... So as far as being a good salad green goes, this would not be it. Uh, of course, the main concern usually around poinsettias is, is not the flavor, but whether it's toxic or poisonous or not. And on that score, we have good information. Uh, researchers have gone ahead and tested as much as they could on poinsettias, and no matter how far they pushed it, into hundreds of leaves or pounds worth of poinsettia leaves, they couldn't find a toxic level that would create uh, a, a physical reaction or toxicity uh, to humans. So. Uh, poinsettias are not toxic, not poisonous, despite all of the folklore around it. Uh, that doesn't mean there aren't uh, good reasons not to eat it. First of all, um, well, of course, the flavor sucks. But second of all, as with any greenhouse ornamentals, you got to be cautious about what they're spraying on it. The only reason I feel safe using this one is I know who grew it, I know the grower, and they don't use any chemicals. But as with all greenhouse ornamentals, uh, they could spray it with pesticides or fungicides, things that may not be acutely toxic, but certainly wouldn't be the greatest thing to put into your body. And while we're talking about uh, Christmas decor that might be toxic or not, the ones you really need to look out for would be things like mistletoe, uh, the real stuff, not the plastic stuff, although I guess that could have its own hazards. Uh, mistletoe is toxic as well as holly berries. Um, and while we're talking about indoor plants, the ones you'd really have to look out for, and there's a whole list of them, that things like uh, sago palms, uh, diefenbachia, philodendron, or monstera, those house plants have things that they can do to the body. Uh, typically, they all taste really bad too, like they, they would uh, quickly cause irritation and swelling in the mouth. So you don't have to worry so much that kids and pets would go after them, although it can happen. Um, the uh, ones that are specifically a problem for pets, things like aloe and uh, lilies as well, are not so good for pets. So um, I think you should make the general assumption that anything that's an ornamental grown in a greenhouse isn't for eating, uh, that for all house plants or many of them can have some reason why you wouldn't want your kids or pets getting into them so if they make a habit of it. Um, that's something you have to consider. And of course, uh, there's a whole list of toxic ones that I'll put up now uh, that uh, you should probably take special attention towards. Now, before I get entirely off the topic of, uh, of the poinsettias, a couple of things that you might want to know about it. Uh, these red, some people will call them petals, actually the flower entirely is this inconspicuous thing in the middle of the, of the, the nest of bracts. And the bracts are these modified red leaves. So unlike petals on normal plants, which don't last all that long, uh, these bracts can remain red and showy for a long period of time, which is one of the reasons why poinsettias are such a popular holiday plant. Uh, second thing you might want to know about them is that in their natural habitat, they are a shrub. So if you found them in Mexico growing on a roadside, this thing might be eight or ten feet tall, and that's kind of a neat thing. So a lot of people are able to take poinsettias if they leave them in the right environment in their house and carry them on. Uh, through into the spring and all the way to the next Christmas season if, they, if they'd like. So that's another interesting thing about uh, the poinsettias. Third thing is that uh, botanically they are a euphorbia. Now I have another example of a euphorbia here. This one is called the donkey tail spurge. And euphorbias are known for one particular thing that actually is a hazard, which is that anytime you take off uh, a stem like this, break off a stem, you're going to find that it bleeds this milky latex. And this latex can be quite irritating to the skin on some varieties, not particularly with the poinsettia, but with other euphorbias uh, for sure. And the most uh, acute hazard is that if you took this and you rubbed your eyes afterwards, if you had this milky sap or if you were, uh, say, string trimming it and you got it in your eyes, uh, that can cause quite an intense swelling reaction 
up to even having serious damage to the eyes, up to serious blind, uh, permanent blindness. Uh, so it's something you shouldn't mess around with if you have euphorbias in your garden and you're planning on trimming them or uh, trimming around them, uh, eye protection would probably be in order. All right, that's all I had on the topic today, a short one this week, and just wanted to take this opportunity to wish everyone a happy and healthy holiday season. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave those below the video.